After scores of cruise missile and bombing attacks, the president still calls the U.S. mission in Libya humanitarian, with the goal of stopping Gaddafi from attacking his own people. Not only was he carrying out uh, murders of civilians, but he threatened more. That's also what the UN authorized, all necessary measures to protect Libyan civilians. However, the real goal in Libya is the downfall, death or departure of Muammar Gaddafi. It's what the Europeans want, what most Arab countries want, and what the president wants. I also have stated that it is US policy that Gaddafi needs to go. All of which means America is fighting in yet another Muslim country, but this time with the unusual support of most of the Arab world. The Arab public for the first time is open to American intervention. University of Maryland professor Shibli Telhami takes opinion polls in Arab countries. Because Gaddafi threatens and embarrasses most Arabs, Telhami calls this a one-of-a-kind moment for the president to build Arab goodwill. How important is success in Libya? Very important. Success in Libya is essential. And it does mean, in the end, seeing the Gaddafi regime change. Regime change in Libya is also important to the protest marchers on every Arab street. After peaceful protests took down two dictators, first in Tunisia, then in Egypt, Gaddafi changed tactics and made war on the crowds. Since then, shooting the protesters has been the rule. Government crackdowns have killed at least seven protesters in Syria, 20 in Bahrain, and some 40 demonstrators in Yemen. Many fear that if Gaddafi survives and clings to power, his way wins. Because what will happen is that a lot of other governments may draw the same lessons as Gaddafi, which is uh, shoot the people. But confronting Gaddafi also highlights what some see as a double standard. The U.S. is protecting the civilians in Libya, but not the protesters against allied regimes in Yemen and Bahrain. The U.S. is staying close to Yemen because the same regime that's killing protesters is keeping the lid on al-Qaeda. We consider uh, al-Qaeda and the Arabian Peninsula, which is largely located in Yemen, to be perhaps the most dangerous. Overall, the administration wants to be in front of the Arab awakening, and the quickest way there is through the showdown with Gaddafi. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.